we're doing here is keeping Pip in the field position here. We've just taught the field position here, so we're taking him out for a walk where we're enforcing the heel position for the entirety of the walk here. And what we want is him to stay behind his left leg and not keep trying to creep over to this right side. Anytime he creeps over to the right side or moves ahead, falls behind, go ahead and here. We're gonna tap on our tone button and recall him back to our heel position, which is right here behind our left leg. If he doesn't respond to the tap on the tone, we'll press our stimulation. And we're gonna do that anytime he tries to pick up speed and get ahead of us, or anytime he tries to cut off towards the other side or dart off towards something. We'll tap our tone and then our stimulation if he doesn't fix himself. But you can see he's got the boundary down. He's doing really well with it. But he's still a little bit more aroused than I would like to see him. I'd like to see his mouth come down a bit. And that'll come down with time here. But you can see anytime there's a, a sound or a car goes by, it really gets quite interesting. That's where it's just going to be about exposure for Pippin, just exposing him to these things. Having these successful walks where he's staying relaxed behind us. Prior to training with us, he would have been chasing all of these cars. Right after. Yeah, that's a thinking about it, but he's not actually going after these cars, and that's good. That's what we're looking for. We can correct these little behaviors down the road here. to fixate on a car like that, I can just tap the e-collar remote and he breaks that fixation and settles down, right? But I don't want to have to keep pressing that button. I don't want to have to keep correcting for that behavior. 